Hi friends, good morning everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you about uh, where can you verify what kind of user you are and what are the different types of users are there and uh, which are frequently used user types based on my experience, I'm going to explain. You can go to SC01D. Mostly you will have a display access for any user. Take your user and click on display. And if you go to the logon data, here you can see the user type, dialog, system, communications data, preference, and service. Most of the users, like whether you're a consultant or a key user, end user, most of our user types will be dialog. 99% it will be dialog user only. And the system user is for, if you are using for any background job creation, and um, if you are using for the transaction for any kind of a transaction you are doing in the backend, then system has to give one user ID. So those user IDs mostly the system user IDs. Because this dialogue uses, the users may be resigned or uh, they may change the departments, anything can happen. So the system users will have that all respect to authorization and those are available in the system, okay? Just click on F1 to see the uh, definitions of different kind of user types. You can read later, I will just give a glance on that. So dialogue users, like I mentioned that a normal dialogue user used by one person only for all types of login. And system, use the system user type for internal system processes, for example, background processing or system related processes, for example, ALE workflow or any interface these kind of things, we use it. In my experience, all the users are assigned to dialogue and these kind of backend processing as the system. And very rarely, these kind of service or reference will be used for communication. You can see here, use user types communication for dialogue free communication between systems. So when you're calling that uh, systems for any certain kind of uh, dialogue login is not possible. See here, by using this communication ID, you cannot log into SAP, but by using both the system and dialogue, we can log in. You can see here, login is, dialogue login is not possible. So you can see that uh, details about um, communication or uh, system details. See a user of this type is excluded from the general settings of uh, password validity. Only user administrators can change the password using transaction SC01 because the system user IDs are completely controlled by the basis as security who are responsible for that user IDs, right? So those only can control, we cannot do that. So multiple dialogue logins are checked and logged if necessary. So we can log in multiple login also, we can do it. So dialogue and system are the mostly used, so you can focus on that. And you can just read it, what are the different other, like communication, services, reference, and all. For example, services, uh, mostly uh, a group of people are using single ID kind of a thing. SAP can recommend to use that. You can read properly uh, by clicking F1. So here you can see that SAP details also. What is the dialogue user? what kind of functionalities are available. See dialogue, login and RFC logon and all, background processing, communication system, you cannot log in, but service login can be logged in because service is a group of people. So you can read and to understand the basic uh, idea, okay, what type of user types are available. Most of the basis uh, who are responsible for the user creation and all right, they are mostly focused on this area. Okay, the basis or uh, security GRC team, so in most of the process, what happens? So they may not keep the separate GRC team so that uh, in the basis team, only the people will handle about uh, user IDs creation and all. So background job and uh, RFC connections, so these kind of things, basis team will take care. So you can focus on this dialogue and system and just to get an idea, other three types also. I hope in this video, you learned about what type of uh, user type you are using generally and what are the different other types are available. I hope this video has given you few new things to learn. If you like the video, hit the like button, 
and share our videos with your recipe circle. Thank you.